China concluded 2023 by adhering to one of the Chinese Communist Party's, CCP's, cherished traditions, a purge. This time, the focus was on the military, as nine high-ranking generals were ousted from the National People's Congress, NPC, China's rubber-stamp parliament. While the NPC itself may not hold significant importance, such removals often serve as a precursor to subsequent disciplinary or criminal actions. The purge encompassed several individuals from the People's Liberation Army PLA, rocket force, who have been under investigation since the previous summer. According to a report by Bloomberg, Xi Jinping's purge was likely a response to widespread corruption uncovered within the rocket force. It's interesting to note in this context that the former Chinese defense minister, Li Shang Fu, was officially removed in October 2023 after disappearing from public view. While any charges against him remain undisclosed, he was thought to be under anti-corruption investigations by the Commission for Discipline Inspection for the Central Military Commission. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how corruption seems to have dented the combat effectiveness of the PLA rocket force. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The PLARF, or PLA Rocket Force, is the fourth branch of the People's Liberation Army, PLA. The Armed Service Branch was established on the 1st of July, 1966, and made its first public appearance on the 1st of October, 1984. The headquarters for the operation is located in Qingxi, Beijing. It controls China's arsenal of land-based ballistic, hypersonic cruise missiles, both nuclear and conventional. PLA Rocket Force has expanded significantly in the last five to 10 years. Apart from long-range strategic missiles, the force has several types of short to intermediate range systems. Defense Update's community may note that in 1987, the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty INF, was established between the US and the then Soviet Union, prohibiting the deployment of land-based missiles, both conventional and nuclear, with a range of 500 kilometers to 5,500 kilometers, or 310 miles to about 3,400 miles. However, the U.S. withdrew from the INF in 2019, asserting that Russia had covertly conducted tests and deployed missiles in violation of the agreement. Importantly, China, which was not part of the INF treaty, has exploited this treaty to build this rocket force. According to the Pentagon's latest annual report, the Chinese military is estimated to have more than 1,500 missiles with a range of 1,000 kilometers to 5,500 kilometers. According to Bloomberg's report, U.S. intelligence has revealed that President Xi Jinping's military purge was prompted by the discovery of extensive malpractice in the PLA rocket force. This raised concerns about China's capability to effectively engage in warfare. Bloomberg's coverage suggests that Xi's purge was likely a response to pervasive corruption uncovered within the rocket force. U.S. intelligence sources shared alarming accounts, including the mishandling of missile fuel and malfunctions in silo lids that could impede the launch of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Although there were some disputes over the authenticity of the water-filled missile story, with arguments that liquid-fueled missiles are typically kept empty to avoid accidents, there is growing suspicion that deep-seated corruption has diminished the combat readiness of the Chinese military. 
This, in turn, raises doubts about its ability to conduct large-scale operations in the foreseeable future. Interestingly, Xi's New Year speech to the People's Liberation Army stressed fighting the uphill and protracted battle against corruption. It shouldn't come as a shock to keen observers that there are malpractices within China's secretive rocket force. The Russian campaign in Ukraine has been an eye-opener for many strategic and military experts. Almost everything was in favor of Putin's forces. Russia had a land border with Ukraine which made logistics pretty uncomplicated. Not only this, it has the opportunity of striking Ukraine from three directions. Belarus, which is friendly to Russia, Crimea, which was annexed in 2014, and Donetsk, which already has pro-Russian separatist forces. Russian Air Force had a 10 to 1 advantage against Ukraine at the beginning of the hostilities and was supposed to crush the Ukrainian Air Force within days. But it hasn't worked out as predicted. The much feared Russian military, which has been at the center of so many NATO war games and planning sessions, is still unable to overwhelm a much smaller Ukrainian force. A few days following the commencement of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Notable Russian military veterans, now influential bloggers, posted messages urging their followers to gather funds for the necessities of Russian servicemen. They emphasized the urgent requirement for tourniquets, medical supplies, and night vision devices. This clearly indicated that Russia's mid- and high-level military leadership had siphoned off resources, and this has impacted the performance on the battlefield. Elevated levels of corruption, especially within the PLA rocket force, are not solely attributable to the prevalence of bribery, rent-seeking, and graft within the loosely monitored Chinese military and its defense procurement systems. While in the West, a democratic setup helps maintain checks and balances, there's nothing much in a country ruled by the powerful Chinese Communist Party. Complex, politically significant, yet infrequently validated systems, such as nuclear missiles, tend to attract illicit activities. These systems, crucial as instruments of strategic power, receive substantial budgets for maintenance and operation, but are rarely subjected to practical readiness tests. Furthermore, the corruption within the hand-picked leadership of the military and defense industry may suggest a prevailing skepticism among senior officials regarding the imminent need for the People's Liberation Army to engage in active combat. While Xi Jinping has in the past few years urged the Chinese military to be ready and has called for absolute loyalty, there are reasons to believe that the much daunted rocket force may be a paper tiger. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.